Living in a world full of modern technology and noise can make one accustomed to living with constant commotion. It isn't until you escape the silence that you realize how loud the volume of daily life really is. This is where we find Captain Jonathan Moss and his guest, owner of East Cape Boats and Scanoo, Kevin Finn. The guys are sneaking away from the hustle and bustle, pulling the backcountry creeks of the Indian River Lagoon. The search is on for a quiet escape, interrupted only by the occasional tug on the other end of the line. So sit back and see how it all unfolds as we flip through the pages of the captain's log. Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. All right, so we got we got the rods ready, got the cooler in the boat. Why don't you hop in, bro? I'll push this off, and got the sun coming up. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's go, man. Perfect. Perfect. I think you know what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna pull us out of here. And it gets a little bit deeper up here, and uh, we'll start. Uh, we'll paddle in the deeper spots. Look at that sunrise. I know it's, it's going to be gorgeous. Got these things rigged. Right on. Oh man, it's good to get out in the water with you. We have talked about doing this. It seems like years. I know, and now. You get the chance to. You and I have always been in a work mode. I think it's always go, go, go. It's always go, go, go. And we first met and I bought a boat from you. Neither of us had babies. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now we got life. We, uh. Now I'm married. Oh, there we go. Good showing, baby. Three kids. Happily married. Quick release. Oh, All good, good, dude. Palm we got Beach. Some more fish up in front of us. But yeah, we, uh, kids and families and yeah man and everything else going on so it's good to get a day and right now it is absolutely beautiful typical winter florida fashion it's gonna got a front moving in this afternoon so we got a window of time but today it doesn't matter what happens we're out in the water together and that's all i've been thinking about and looking forward to i would agree with that 100 percent. i think nowadays for you and well not for you so much but for me it's definitely Quality, not quantity. I, uh, and this is definitely quality time. And uh, anytime I get on the water, and truth be told, I haven't been out here in a lagoon in forever. I've been fishing a lot over on the West Coast, but it's good to be back, is yeah. what I would say. Well, let's catch them up. I'm down with that. There you go. Fish on, baby. Good job, Kevin. Was it a trout? It's a trout. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, dude, pull him right out of the water, right? There you go. Sweet! Little guy. That's what I'm talking about, brother. See ya, buddy. Excellent. First one of the day. Oh, that was an eat. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was. On the other side of these sticks. Whoop. This thing goes so quick. Yeah, I'm used to giving so much force on the skiff <laughs> that if I put the same amount of force, we just, man, we're pulling a jet skier, pulling a skier behind the boat. <laughs> keep him tight, keep him tight. Swimming right at us. Trout, trout. Another little trouty, trouty. Well, that's number well two. Well done, dude. You know, I'll take it considering We've had some blow ups, we've had some come off, so yeah, I'll take it for sure. It's funny how pliers make all the difference in the world. Oh yeah. Such pretty little fish. Even the little ones are ferocious. And this time of year, man, we get just an influx of those guys on the bait. Oh, absolutely. You know, two things. One, where's your mama at? And the other one, get bigger, please. Yep. See you later, buddy. Gone. 
All right, brother. Hey. Thank you, dude. dude. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I love it. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Danko Pliers, East Cape Boats, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, Skinu, Power Pole, DOA Lures, and go cast away fishing charters. Yeah, during COVID, I actually I picked up a, a second job because guiding was so slow. <clears throat> I was uh, I was working at the orange juice factory. Okay. But I got canned. Ah. Said I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's bad. <laughs> I walked right into that one. This one's yeah, 12 fish right for them. I know, I saw that. And I'm gonna get on that. There's three or four right now in front of us, so hopefully we're gonna get to eat. Oh, I'm not gonna watch it. There we go. Not the tarpon, but a nice snow, or a trout, nice trout. That'll work. Came up and hammered. Bring him over. That uh, do oh, yeah, away terrorize. He's a little fatter than the other ones we got out front. Come here, buddy. Yeah, I got him. I'm gonna hook him. He wanted it. I got you, buddy. There we go. All right, get your friends ready. Yeah, man. These guys, being in these creeks, they are just golden. Love it. Thank you, sir. See you later, buddy. Go on, he goes. Give me ducks. Thanks, dude. What you got? Another, Another trout. trout? Another trout? Trout, been loving those DOAs this morning. He's a little fatter. A little fatter. Hang on a second. Sling him on up. Uh, there he is. Bam! Yes. Come here, buddy. Yeah, he's a little bigger. Not the poon we want, but we'll take him. Yes, sir. Got him. They've all been about that same size. Yeah, little creek fish, you know? Beautiful. Oh, oh there right, he buddy. goes. Oh, let him back. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Oh, all right, buddy. See ya. <laughs> he said, man, I want to give you a hug. Yeah. You're letting me go this morning. Today's Tackle Box Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss. We're out here today on the Indian River, fishing in shallow water in the skinu. But one thing you have to remember when you're on a power craft, you need to make sure you're checking your state regulations. Typically, we have, when we're on the skiff, we have the PFDs stowed in a safe spot. If we do need them, they're ready to go. We're typically fishing in shallow water, so it doesn't make a big deal. But we're not on paddle craft. It's the law that you're supposed to be wearing your PFD. These are simple, go around your waist, something should happen. Grab the little pull cord, off it goes. Gonna inflate, you're good to go. But regardless, you wanna keep safety at the forefront of your brain. We had a storm rolling today, we had our eyes on it. Whenever you're on the water, make sure you're paying attention, you know your safety rules, make sure you know your regulations so you're legal and you're always staying safe. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is sponsored in part by these fine companies. Looked like he was going to the left. Ah, uh, well, he's right. gonna have fish to go to the right. <laughs> fish, fish. <laughs> Another one behind him. Yeah, one was close and one was further out. There's another one. Be nice to get back in that pod.
Oh, got him. Got him. Get him, buddy. That's the one we're looking for, brother. He's gonna jump. I know, hang on a second. You got him, you got him. Take your time. That could be a red. Or Jerome, he's coming up. Turn us, turn us, turn us. I got you, I got it. You might have a redfish, because if it was Snook, he would have jumped too. Uh, I think it's a red, but we'll find out. Nope, the king of all kings. Jack Crevel. <laughs> got color, yeah, there he is. Oh, nice Jack, dude. We got tarpon rolling, we're catching jacks. <laughs> Hang on a second. Bring him, yeah, there you go. There he is. Well, come on, Bubba. You know what this jack does? He skinnews. I'm kidding. Dad, <laughs> dad jokes, baby. I, I know, love dad it. jokes. I'm going to take a knee. You want to bring him this way. Yep, he's coming up. You know, this little light gear and light tackle and light line. Here we go. Hey, Come on, he's coming. Got his tail? Not yet, not yet. Yeah. There you go. Little guy, he's barking. Yes, sir. Jack Crevel on the skinu, back country, lit up all gold on that DOA cow, brother. I love it. Light tackle. <laughs> I love it. I thought it was a red at first, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, he came up and smoked it. We, I thought it was a tarpon. Same with me at first. And I was like, it's a red. And as it kept going down, I was like, ah, I don't know, man. And then obviously, I'll take a jack. Mr. Jack Crevel. I'll catch these guys all day long. I know in Louisiana, they get all the way up to like, you know, in the upper 30s. Call them the dirty 30. But hey, light Good. tackle, light line in a skinoo, in a creek, going for baby poon. Oh, there, there he goes. is. He said, let me back home. Hey man, this is good. Perfect. Let's get some more. And now, the conservation challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. Today we're fishing in the North Indian River Lagoon, which is part of the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. And it's adjacent to the Mosquito Lagoon. This is where I spend most of my time. This is where I guide full time. These waters are very important to me. They're a special place to me. And like many of the estuaries in the state of Florida, it is not free of its problems. Many of those are caused by man and sewage spills, chemical spills, trash, things going in the water, things that we can begin to stop. And one of the ways we can do that is we need to come together. We need to stand together as a group of anglers. We need to attend local government meetings. We need to join groups that are fighting for these estuaries and support them. We need to research them and figure out which one best fits your area and your beliefs. And we need to give them all that we have so that we can restore these waters for our future generations, for our kids, so that they can experience these same waters, these same estuaries that we love so dearly. The Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge not only has redfish, trout, snook, tarpon, black drum, so many other species, but it also is the home and the refuge of countless species of birds. These things are vital to the growth and the excitement of our sport. And seeing my kids, I want to take my kids to this refuge, to these lagoons, and let them experience the things I have experienced, not only as a, as a child and as an angler, but as a guy. And it takes us coming together and fighting for these waters. They're important, so let's do it. I need your help. Get him, Kevin. Working our way to the next creek. It's been a trout day. Yeah, man. A good fish. Hook set, brother. Thank you, man. Okay. A bit of 
big today, but they've been plentiful and they're so pretty. You just love those spots, the teeth, that yellow mouth. Good heart fighting, hard hitting trout, brother. And when they get big, man. See you later, Gone. See ya. Awesome, dude. The brother, weatherman might be right. That front is here. Yeah. We've got an opening here out of this creek. Let's start pulling our way back to the boat. Back to the truck, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Put some fish in the skinny this morning. Yes, we did. Got a little chance to get out, do some fishing together. Yep. Let's go get out of here, grab some lunch, and go home to the families. It has been said, you spend time on land, but live life on the water. That living is made a little sweeter on a falling skiff in a backcountry creek where there's no telling what you might find. From rare birds to rolling tarpon, these are the discoveries that can't be made behind a desk. The calm and quiet of a simple fishing trip with a friend can mute the stress that comes from the hustle and bustle of daily life. It's what makes finding the time to step away from life's constant demands worth it. As soon as I... That's the way to do it, right there. 